It's a chance to visit with Columbia head basketball coach Megan Griffith, whose team has already won an Ivy League title and a program record number of wins, now playing for a WNIG championship. And Coach, first of all, how much fun has it been for you to coach this team this year? Uh, it's been so enjoyable. You know, it's it's really hard to even talk about it because I love these kids so much. You know, I started the program with all of them, you know, they've built this team up to be where we are right now and to be in this moment and they deserve every second of it, you know, and I'm just, I told them, you know, I want to win with this group, but I'm not wasting any days with you. I'm, I'm making every day count. And that's what they're doing right now. They're making every day count. Special part about this tournament is the momentum that builds from one win to the next, whether it's fan support at home, whether it's going on the road, getting a big win, you've had both. So how do you describe what these last five games have been like and meant to this program, big picture? Well, you know, it's, you know, coming off of, you know, a devastating loss, you know, in the semifinals of our conference tournament, you know, we really, I think, came together as a group and decided, like, this is our new mission. This is our new season. And it starts if every person in this circle, every person in this room can buy into that. And once we did that, there was really no way that anybody could stop us. Um, and I think that's what we're seeing. We're just getting better every game. Honestly, I think we're playing our best basketball all year. And, you know, the scary thing is, is that we have so many weapons right now. And, you know, people are just making plays. That's what March is. March is about urgency and it's about big time players making big plays. You talk about big time wins. I think that Bowling Green victory was part of that. You were able to gather some success at home and defeat Harvard again, but that was a good Bowling Green team. It was a great crowd and your team found a way to really control the game down the stretch to put it in the W column. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, amazing environment, like huge credit to Bowling Green, like for putting that together, sold out crowd for the first time in program history. Um, you know, Robin is is a coaching friend of mine. I have the utmost respect for her and what she does, what she's been able to do wherever she's been. Um, you know, that was just two really hard-nosed teams going to battle. I mean, they're tough as nails, those kids, you know, and uh, I was really happy our team stayed composed throughout it all in that environment. Um, and it's, I think, only has prepared us to take this next step at Kansas. Your team has racked up some power five wins in the last couple of years, including knocking off Miami and elite eight team earlier this season. You get Kansas, another team that's probably disappointed not to be in the NCAA tournament playing for a championship. Give me a preview of what you think this game's going to be like with the Jayhawks. Yeah, well, you know, I think that, you know, we're going to try to do what we do and set the tone and play up and down, you know, not that they don't want to do that, but I know Kansas likes to run a lot of stuff. They like to operate through their, their number one, their big player. Um, you know, and, and I think they have a lot of dynamic guards, you know, that, that, you know, also can be really dangerous. So it's just, I think it's about right. Executing our game plan at this point, playing our style um, and neutralizing some of their easy catches and, and opportunities, especially in the paint, um, you know, and just and making sure to, we limit second chances. I know that's a big one. You know, this team can really rebound um, especially when you have a six, 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 six kid in the middle. So, and you know, they've got their six man in their home, in their home court, you know, fans, you know, we're expecting what 10,000 plus, um, so, you know, our Columbia blue community, that's going to be there. You know, we got to rally together, stick together through that. Yeah. Tell me about playing in fog Island, whether you might go see the rules of basketball, whether you're looking forward to playing in the fog, it's an experience. It's something I think every basketball competitor wants to check off a list and your ladies are going to get a chance to do that. Yeah. To be in a historic place like that, you know, and, and again, with the Naismith on the Naismith court and having our players have that experience, it's, it's second to none. You know, this is, if you could write the story of this season, like you'd want it to end in this way, right? Of course, we'd love to be home and hosting this on our home court, but there's nothing like being able to play in that arena um, and know that, you know, you're battling for this championship at the end of the day. So we're, we're looking forward to it. If the Lions win, will the Empire State Building be turned blue once again? You know what? I'm going to have to make that call, you know? <laughs> I don't know if that was in our contract, but I hope so. <laughs> Coach, congratulations on what has been a great season and uh, looking forward to seeing your team play Kansas this weekend. Sounds good. Thank you.